Peter, it's a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Cab Talk. Thank you, Thank you for making pleasure. time to talk to me today. Now, you're an entrepreneur. I have to remember all of this. You're, you're a corporate speaker and you're a business coach as well. You're a busy man. Yeah, it's, it's a busy time. Um, you know, I think that there's, there's a lot of, lot of market opportunity out there. There's a lot of need. Mm -hmm. um, as we've spoken before, the, 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 the crux of the economy revolves mm -hmm. around people building their own businesses. Yep. You know, and I think that where people have gone wrong in the past yep. is typically we've relied on corporate businesses to drive uh, employment creation and employment growth. Yep. And for the last 15, 20 years already, not, not only in South Africa, but globally in America, for instance, the, the corporate employment rates have been declining by massive amounts. Mm -hmm. uh, and that slack, a large amount of the slack has been picked up by, by SMEs. Mm -hmm. And we see the same trend here. Mm -hmm. You know, we cannot rely on corporate companies in South Africa to pick up the slack because they are the ones that are doing the mechanization and, and the additional uh, investment in mm. the business. The net loss of that is important. And that, so that it's is up the to big, us to nature yes. pick, pick up that slack. And make that is happen. the big global agenda to create jobs, but I'm going to come back to that. I just want to get more into action Action Coach. Okay. That is the organization you head up in South Africa. If you can tell us a little bit more about that and the services that you offer. Brilliant. I mean, our Action Coach has been up and running now for 21 years. We, we currently operate in 46 countries around the world mm -hmm. with about a thousand licensed coaches in those particular markets. So that makes um, you the biggest business coaching company in the world? Yeah, exactly. Uh, we've just recently, as of last week, been voted number 58 out of the top 100 franchises around the world. Mm -hmm. So we're very proud of a number of awards that we've got globally. Mm -hmm. um, our services we offer primarily are business coaching mm -hmm. Uh, products and services which also include education to, yeah. to that particular market um, to SME clients primarily because we know that quite often those are the clients that in actual fact start businesses mm -hmm. they either get two things they either they really start struggling from day one mm -hmm. or they get to a level of success but they haven't got the capacity and the skills and the knowledge necessarily to take their businesses to the next mm -hmm. level and that's where the business coach enters mm -hmm. and it's pretty much the same thing that that uh, sports teams do from a from a sports coaching perspective. Mm -hmm. Somebody sits on the outside looking at the business in all its facets, be it marketing, sales, finance, etc., mm -hmm. and says, you know, what what does this business need to do to grow to lead, reach the level of, of profitability mm -hmm. that the business needs? We then formulate together with the business owner a plan, mm -hmm. and then over a period of 12 to 24 months, or whatever the case might be, period might be work with that business owner on a weekly basis mm -hmm. to make sure that that business owner is implementing that which we've agreed that needs to be implemented. And here is often for me a very interesting point. One is, quite often business owners know what they need to do, yes. but they just don't do it. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much like when we employ a, a wellness coach or, mm -hmm. a, or a sports coach, get somebody that, that holds you accountable for the delivery of what yes. you need to do in your business. A lot of people have their own idea of what being an entrepreneur means. You're obviously dealing with SME um, businesses uh, you, that has a certain threshold. In South Africa, if, if you have to look out of the window, you have street walkers at every corner selling their wares. Would you regard that as some kind of entrepreneurial activity or not? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I think that, um, again, there's a mindset change. You know, yeah. we, we've got to think around, you know, again, the corporate mind space sometimes see the, the street street walkers as a nuisance yeah. but they're entrepreneurs of their own thing they, they are doing a, you know, they're performing an activity that creates activity economic um, exchange of product for for a reward mm -hmm. uh, and that's reality and for me I was, was you know I was referring this to somebody the other day is that running your own business is a cash flow generative activity that one feeds what you require yep. for your immediate requirements and ultimately ends up building a capital base for you to build bigger better things whether it is houses cars education kids or whatever the case might be that's why we build businesses mm -hmm. that's why people the street walker is busy doing a, a running a little business to feed his family as his first basic need yes and ultimately as he grows and develops into something bigger than that the need becomes more complex and becomes higher. Thank you so much for your time today. Hope to have you in studio soon to take this discussion further. Thank you very much. Thank you.